Okay, you guys, totally confused. Because the picture we were going to do, we changed. Look at my chungo. You guys, we were going to do one thing, and then I changed the, the title to what we were going to, what we decided to do. And now everybody's here thinking we're getting a, oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're not doing a pie. Please. It's that's, not me. That's yet to come. It's him. Okay, so actually, um, we're doing the sides, our continuation for the sides. Um, uh, An extra added bonus. And uh, an added bonus of? Poached egg. Because a couple people, my mom, well, we, uh, was wondering poached eggs, so how to make a don't. poached egg. So the poached egg thing was kind of like an add-on. Does that make sense, y'all? So... First, Joe's gonna do the poached egg. If anybody knows how to do it, then just chill out for the next, for the first five or 10 minutes. But then uh, Yvonne's gonna get down in the kitchen like a Mexican does. Hey, hey. <laughs> okay, do your, do your thing. Right. I could say, here's your, here's your side. It's rice. <laughs> Look at guys. Done. Done. I'm making um, fried rice tomorrow for us. So you have to let your rice grateful. breathe. Hi, Grateful. Hi, Commander. I gotta see who's all in here. Commander. Commander. All right. Why? Well, we gotta get our water ready. The whole sheesh. You haven't been doing yeah, the water. No, it's, it's, it's hot already. But lies. Dirty I whore know, lies. I know how to. I know how to prep. Does anybody know that? That's not a good word, but it's a funny word. <laughs> hey, I'm get. It's like. Um, well, me and my daughter started saying that a while back. We're like, it's a lie. It's a dirty, dirty whore lie. Like. Only, <laughs> I don't know how to describe it, what, what we say it like, like, uh, I don't know, I guess it's, whole, hey, me and Dusty have been saying it forever, but it's just a bad word, so don't say that. We just say it like it's a lie, it's a dirty whore lie. <laughs> we're stupid. Okay, y'all, um, so we're going to make Mexican rice, that's what I wanted to tell you guys. If anybody knows how to make it, a hey, good for you, because it's hard to make. I mean, the hardest thing about Mexican rice is you don't touch it ever if you touch it you might as well just throw it away because the rice is not going to put up with you touching opening it up looking inside it went from saying hey let's have dinner to mm. joe yeah <laughs> it was a joke we were saying that like the rice turns on you it goes from being like a yeah. part of the the dinner to going, I'm gonna be mushy and yucky, yeah. and you're not gonna be able to use the, the me. Whole mob mentality. And yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You cannot touch the Mexican rice once you put the lid on it. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do the Mexican rice. Well, because we did all these uh, barbecue sides, and I was like, oh, I didn't even do like a, a side, like Mexicano side, like you know what we eat. Like I mean, we don't eat it all the time, oh, but gotta throw in the bread. Gotta throw in it. It's equal opportunity. We shouldn't have all just one thing. Because then I feel like I'm being, like, not represented here, y'all. I'm representing all y'all. I think, um, I think I see what you can't. And I think, uh, Commander, I think you guys are Mexicanos, right? I, I'm trying to remember, like, chats that we've had in the, in the thing. But I'm representing us, y'all. Do they text with an accent? <laughs> I know, you, you weirdo. <laughs> But I think they made a comment. I don't know. I'm going to check. I don't check. I'll check. Yes, Commander is C. This is C? <laughs> don't suppress Mitt and Mama. <laughs> That's right. Trying to hold me down. Trying to hold a strong Latina down. I'll represent, y'all. Okay, we don't need you. Get out of the way, Latina. <laughs> you act like my name is Tina. <laughs> get back, Tina. Uh. Oh, Latina? Yeah, Latina. <laughs> See, we're not at a rolling boil. That's a good thing. You just want it to be bubbling on the bottom like hey, that. Alpha. And hey, not hey. messing up the surface too much. And, you know, I'm going to get probably while I'm talking here, it'll get to a boil. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Oh. I get you oh. now. Y'all fell down. <laughs> boom, boom. Oh, there goes the phone, oh. too. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> There you go. Hold on, y'all. Joe? Joe's a mess. Joe's a total mess, bro. I wasn't watching what I was doing. It just slipped on off there. Sorry, guys. No. I'm sorry about that, y'all. Back right. y'all up. Yeah, back, back it up. Back it up, people. <laughs> You're so stupid. All right. Okay, guys. There you go. All right. 
Back to what we were talking about. Back to... Back to our regularly scheduled, scheduled programming. programming. <laughs> All right. So we'll take another look at it. And we'll be very careful with y'all. All no right. cat. Grateful. Not quite a rolling Neither. boil. That's about where you want it, right there. Kind of moving around in there. <laughs> but not big old bubbles and stuff. So I'm going to turn it down a little bit more because we got talking to do. we got stuff to do. All right. Poached eggs. What you're going to want to get is you're going to want to get a little bowl or a little ramekin. Because hey, you don't hey, want to just plop your egg in the water. Hey, All right. Madre. We're gonna we're gonna try to keep the uh, floating whites that go all over the place to a minimum, and we can only do what we can do. You guys, the the lady on there that says Abby, she has a wrench. She's an honorary wrench holder, so she's not gonna be able to do anything of the mods. But she's an honorary wrench holder. When your mom sends you a text and says, why don't I have one? You know what you do? You pick up your phone and you beep, 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 done. No no conversation need to be had. So just in case you guys were wondering, that person on there is just an honorary mod. Okay, go on. All right. <laughs> Here we go. All right, like I said, we try to minimize the floating uh, where you're, you're losing a lot of the, the white in there and it goes all over the place and... Uh, makes your water all uh, cloudy and messy and grateful stuff like that. Hi. Okay, who did? Oh, grateful and grateful. Hey, grateful. Yeah, but uh, so what you want to try to do is just minimize it as much as possible. You're going to still still have them, but you can try to minimize them. And you minimize them by putting them in like a little bowl, and then you take the bowl and then you put it kind of half in the water, and then you just kind of roll it in there, so you can minimize the splashing around by cracking the egg in there. And then the other way that you might want to do, which I did with this one, this one that's in the ramekin already, is take your egg. Oh, here we go. Can't see nothing. Here we go. Take your egg, and I don't have one of them little uh, metal mesh strainers, so I'm using the like the metal coffee thing we have, but like a mesh strainer that goes over a cup, um, a fine one, if anything. And what you do is you crack your egg, and then you put it in the strainer there. That's number two? That's number two. What do you do with all those eggs when they're done? I'm only going to make two. I get you now. You want more? No. I'll what you do is, what, and then you just roll it around in there to get the watery stuff out. All that watery stuff, the, the older your eggs are, the, the waterier they get. So you want to get all that water out of the out of the whites first because that's a lot of your who's gonna do all that yeah. to make a poached egg yeah, that's what you do we're sticking it in water See it's gonna water get back into water it's watery now i'm gonna put this in the ramekin and then i'll show you the what's left in the cup so here we go oh. mom those were the eggs at your house so i'm not sure eggs. why they're all watery <laughs> <laughs> but there's water in there that that loose water will make your, your water all cloudy and or cloudy-er. You're just trying to minimize all that cloudiness and all the, the all the white stuff just going all over the place. If you're gonna do like one egg, if you're just gonna do one, you can take, when you get this up to temperature, is just do this and, and create a vortex in there, but not, a, not like a big tornado in there. Just uh, get it moving around in a circle, and then you drop one egg right in the middle of it, and then it'll kind of keep it all together in that little vortex instead of having it, you know, go all, you know, kind of go all over the place. But we're going to do a couple at a time so we don't we don't need the vortex going on. So we're just going to get our get our water to the right temperature, and then we're going to again minimize the little floaty things, the white separating from the egg and going all over the place. So another way to do that is to put about a cap full. Or half a cap, three quarters of a cap. What whatever. happens if I don't do it with vinegar, though? Oh, you can just plop them in there, and you're just gonna get uh, you're you're gonna cloud up your water, and all your all that the whites are gonna like go all over the place, and you're gonna have like little stringy whites everywhere. Instead of having a nice little one little egg, you're gonna have all kinds. You're gonna have that one little egg plus a a bunch of the white 
whites of the eggs are going to be like stringy and uh, floating all over the place. So you, you like spoon those out by themselves. You're going to have a big spoonful of them. So we're just going to drop this in there. We're at a rolling boil right now. I'm going to turn that down. You guys, That's I'm not, not joking. So I don't make these. I like my, I have avocado toast. So I do the toast and the avocado. And then Joe will make my eggs for me because I don't have patience. Yeah. And you don't want to go any darker than an apple cider vinegar because then it'll discolor your eggs. We have regular white vinegar, Daddy. That's what, I, it's already in there. Can't it's take right it out. Here. No. Take it out. <laughs> Remove it. All right. So we're we're just less than a boil. Uh, it was boiling, rolling boil. Now we're back to just uh, kind of a little bubbling on the bottom. And it's not uh, making the surface go all crazy right now. Will the Whoop. vinegar make it taste like anything? No, the vinegar doesn't uh, change the taste at all. So as long as you don't, you know, dump a Go half crazy. gallon in there. So now we're just going to take, you want to put them over here so they can see this? Sure, hold up. And then hold I'll turn it up just a little bit and make sure. So, Sorry, y'all. I don't know what you're seeing, but I apologize. It's all right. We're Your not dance. seeing anything, but this this thing way up here. Uno huevo. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey. And then this thing... Uh, this thing turns down too. What do you want it to do though? Just turn down so you don't. Have to hold don't it. You're not allowed to touch it because oh, we're yeah. <laughs> not next. To the, no, we're gonna so lose take them. this and just kind of roll them in there. So that's so they're you're not trying to disturb them very much. So it's important how you drop it. Yeah, you just take them. There you go. There they are. Now you're gonna cook them for. We're gonna turn down the the heat to a very low temperature. And then just let them cook. And then when we're done, we'll take them out. How with long does that do? About three minutes. But I would check them at a couple minutes. And when I, if you look at them, take a look at them. Take a look at them, babe. Did it? What? Take a look at them right oh, now. Sorry, I thought, <laughs> I'm like, what do you want me to look at? <laughs> right there. See, you can still see the yolk kind of yellowish. Okay. If it's still yellow like that, it's like not quite done. That's the way I go. When it gets more of a white opaqueness over the top of that the yolk then i would say they're they're runny and the whites are done so easy yeah that's over easy basically or like a poached, poached easy yeah so go ahead poached easy medium and hard that's what we're trying to get yeah. and ivani said how uh, easy yes, and i like I it like that too nice and runny i do, I do but like the that. outside cooked and not and not uh like uh super runny you know like watery yeah. Yeah. You, you want know. me to get your plato? Uh, right there, I got a plato. And I had a. What, Daddy? I paper had towel? A paper towel. Probably that one. All right. No. It was. All right. There's a paper towel that was here. Oh, in here, maybe? I don't know. Uh, right there. Oh, there it is. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. But it's okay. It's okay, bro. It's okay. All right. Get him. All right. All right. I get you know. All right. See, we got some some little flyaways in there, but some flyaways. Yeah, there, there's there's some flyaways in there, but uh, but not as bad. Not as bad as it could have been. It could have been taking all that them whites and separating them and and uh, strewing them all over the place. So we're gonna take this, get back a little bit, so we can see both things here. You guys, I want to just apologize for people that really truly come in to get a full i mean i feel like i do teach you guys stuff but it's just more of a very laid back we have a, more fun in here oh uh, i i like to have fun while we cook that's my mentality is why do it in a seriousness when you can have fun in the kitchen here's one i don't think it's quite done yet as you can see a little yellow there and it's a little a little uh tacky right there so i'm just gonna put that put them back <laughs> i don't mind there. a tacky egg i would feel mm -hmm. I feel at one with it. <laughs> but that's the, your your wateriness that you don't like on an egg when they come out. No, yeah, and yeah. you got like a it's it's like a, a, no a sunny side up that isn't cooked quite enough. No man. The whites are like you get a little slimy whites that aren't cooked all the way. So we're just gonna make sure everything's cooked, but still. Um, I know because it hasn't been three minutes at all. But. That lady on the plane that told me. <laughs> told me my voice was too deep. I know my voice is deep. Lady, what do you want me to do? I came like this. Blame my mom. <laughs> Blame her. She gave it to me. All right. We'll just... Uh... And you don't want to put uh, salt in your water. 
You can salt them afterwards, of course, and salt and pepper them, whatever way you like to eat them. But you don't want to put salt in there. Why? If you just if you just salt your water, again, you're, it, it'll break up the whites to where the, anything watery in there, any watery whites in there will break up and, and you'll lose all that egg. Um, so a little vinegar, no salt, about three minutes. Drew, if you're in here, you need to be confirming that this is accurate. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so we got, we got a couple, about a minute left, I'd say, something like that. Sound dead. I just put it a little bit higher than I had it so low. And another way you can tell that they're just about done is that they'll start moving around a little bit down there. They start moving where they were just sitting there cooking before. Now they're where they kind were of just doing moving nothing. Moving around. Yeah, they weren't something. doing anything. Now they're just they're getting antsy in there and they they gotta, gotta go. Gotta go. Alright. This one is done. And then what you do. When you're done to your your liking, just take your slotted spoon, get them out of there, and then just uh, hit them with a little paper towel, get all the water away from them, and then we can just... just oh, uh, grateful. Now you know how to make plate. them. You know what? And my mom, um, well, I mean, just different people. I never... I thought I didn't like them. Or, I'm, I'm sorry, I thought I didn't like over easy eggs, and I found out they taste just like this. What a pretty little poached baby. Yeah, looking good, man. And then, Mommy, you see that? There you go. A couple of poached eggs right there for your liking. A little salt and pepper. There you go. Shall we salt and pepper it? So yeah, salt and pepper it. And we can cut into it and see how runny it is. Oh, Lord. And then it's it, the whites are firm to the touch. They're firm to the touch. They're don't. They're not uh, slimy. At, you know what I mean? Not slimy, but uh, runny. They're not runny. You can touch them and see how what firm they are. Pepper. And if they're not done yet, they'll be a little squishier yet, and then they'll have that. You know, the whites are, that are not cooked on top. All right. So that's all there is to it. And you can use this water over again if if you're doing more. Oh, if you if, you know if you want to do you know oh, yeah. a bigger pan. You can if you do four or five, then you got to do more. You can use the same pan of water; it's no big deal. But I mean, you're still gonna get some of those in the bottom. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. But you just try to minimize it. That's all you're doing. And if you were to swirl that and make a, a uh, make a little vortex in there, um, and you're doing one at a time, it will save a lot of them them little whites from getting separated and floating around in there also. But the fresher your egg also, the better it's going to poach. So and you'll making, have less of those little white things. If you have company coming over. The, the whites. I can keep calling them little white things. I mean, they cost so much. Who cares if they don't turn out? You can still serve them to people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Trust yeah, me. We're still going to eat them even if they didn't turn out. Mm -hmm. But you can see that they're all white on top. After you take Very them out, opaque across the top. They, they're, if they're yellow. So if, they're, if they take it out and it's not done. You just just put them back in. If, you know, just check it, look at it, and if they're not done, put them back in. If you don't break them, you know, you can't break them, or else that will not work. But if they're done, <sighs> if they're not quite done, I just did that. I checked it, wasn't quite done, I put it right back in. Let it keep cooking. Oh, wow, Vinetti's mom had a rack with the little cups as a kid. Oh, yeah, those are those work. Those are poachers. But uh, you can also... I don't um, need a gadget. <laughs> if, if you like them a certain way... That's right, be nutty. You can actually put them, dip them in a, an ice water bath and stop them from cooking so they don't residually cook after you're done. But All right, let's do we it. don't have to worry about that because I took them out maybe a tiny bit early and now they're probably just right. It's a pretend um, and You can overcook like, these really easy. But I'm very picky. If it She's doesn't look good, picky. I'm going to be like, no, I'm not. I know. We need toast. Ready? Oh. All right. Here we go. Come cut on. It, cut it open. Here we go. Here's the cut. <gasps> Stop it, Joe. Look at y'all. There it is. That would be so good on my avocado toast. Mmm. Mm. Very easy to overcook. Tink. Mmm. That is good. Really good. That's a 75 cent egg. Yeah, I know. You guys, I'm sorry. If you guys have chicken, send some to Texas. If they were in there any longer... 
They would have been overcooked. For me. Big time. For her, especially. But if you guys like if I would have hard... taken them out and put them in a nice bath real quick and then taken them out, stopped the cooking process, they would have been a little more runny. Mm -hmm. But I mean, these things were runny. I've been so long since I've had an egg. Because yeah. because they cost so much. I think we have them like rarely. Well, like I say, two minutes, man. You gotta you gotta you gotta kinda go by feel and by by looking at them and seeing if that, that yolk part is opaque over there. And as soon as it goes opaque, if you like them like um what I got, over easy or whatever. Yeah. Poached easy. These are compliments of my mom. And then you take them out. We went to her house for Easter. And then you put them in that ice bath and then it'll stop the cooking. And, and I walked out your... with eggs from my mom's. So that's it. My mom Pretty has like it. an 18 or 24 pack of eggs in her fridge. And I'm like, <gasps> who buys that many eggs? <laughs> Nowadays. I was just like this. Remember when they were 39 cents at all? I did this. I was like, whoo, whoo, whoo. I'm like, run. No, I'm just kidding. Mom, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, she's not kidding. She's going, Is that don't Haley? Say don't look back. Hey, Haley? Don't say goodbye. <laughs> I said, get in the car. Get Start the car. the car. Get the kids. <laughs> you need the oven? No, 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 I'm oh. gonna make the rice. All right. I was just looking for So I'm gonna put this. You know what? Give me one of those pans from over there. Which one? Oh. I'll get the medium, Daddy. Medium? Yeah, please. Here, I'll put this on there. Put the little handle on it. Um, Eggs over by us, we were just excited. We saw them go down to 370. They were up to 393. And we haven't bought them in a couple weeks. I mean, uh, me, I think being grateful, Todd, um, we are. Uh, Joe has had a bad back, so we actually are, with our daughter ab abroad, we actually are very, very uh, stretching the dollar for every month. So when we saw eggs like that, we're like, we don't need eggs. Potatoes are cheap. We eat potatoes. Potatoes in every form. I think it was great while I was talking to him in one of the chats, but it was like, I mean, what do you, baby, it burned. I know. What must, the heck? Must have been just because it's sitting in there like but that. But my daughter said that eggs over there cost 75 cents in Hungary. Um, yeah, she was saying that they cost 75 cents. It's like normal for them over there to spend 75 cents. Okay, guys, we're doing the side. The side. Ready? Um, oil. Oh, here we are. Ta -da! What's wrong, Daddy? Nada. Is that good? Yeah, those are pretty good. It was a good egg. It was, yeah, it was, it was almost to, you know, almost overdone for us. Yeah. Just because, uh, because we're um, talking and trying to get, you know. I put, um, I want to say a good tablespoon of oil. And roast, I put my rice in this because then the bag doesn't have to tip over everywhere. Oh, it looks good. Okay. Uh, if your pan gets hot, ideally you want your pan hot, but if it's not hot, it all works the same, y'all. Okay, I'm going to put a couple things. When I put my rice in there, this is just how I do it. Everybody does it different in life. I know. Oh, can you make me my chicken bouillon? Sure. That that with hot water. The one. Como que chihuahuas, honey? Yeah. The one you. No, 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 no. I'm looking for it. Okay, then you got it. I'll work on something else. Yeah. Where's that little container? Okay, oil. I put my rice in it, if I can find it. Is Sorry, it baby. I got it. Looking for the bouillon. And the rice is dependent on how much you plan to eat. If you're not going to eat that much, you don't need that much. Depending on how much rice you put is depending on how much oil you put. So you want to at least have enough that your rice is going to be completely wet. Mm. I got nada. It's um, behind there. It's behind Where? the garlic. Oh, right there in the back. You see it? Yeah. Ah. I use long grain. I know my, my aunt, my tia who has a food truck, they use jasmine. Um, I use jasmine for our Asian food. Um... I use long grain, uh, long grain rice, and it works out beautifully. But do you see how uh, wet it is? You have to have enough oil in there, avocado, olive, whatever oil you're going to use. And then what I do, because I like it, I put my minced up onion. If you don't want to mince it smaller, if you want onion powder, do the onion powder. But I do think that the, the what's it called? Um... This is usually, this one, um, it's, I 
mean, it's, I'm fine with it this big because me and Joe don't mind it. But if you have little kids that don't like it, and you guys are going to see it turn a different color. Like, it looks kind of, mm, I'm going to let it sit. And then you guys will be able to see it better. Is this enough water for you? Mm. Mm. I'm going to need a good two teaspoons of that. And then, and then you have it in a baggie up there too, baby. Remember you had the extra? Oh, yeah. Okay, so you can kind of start smelling it toast. So then you, what you'll want to be careful because your onion's in it right now is if your onion gets burnt because your fire's too hot, you just got to keep messing it with it like this. Left or right, and it starts getting a color tan-ish. One of my girlfriends like, hey, can you send me the tortilla recipe? I think that's cool when people reach out to me and go, hey, I'm going to make that this weekend. I have people coming over. So, anyways, I think that's cool. And I'm more than happy if you guys have, like, like um, KVG or what was her name when she said, hey, I made the chicken and it did this. What did I do wrong? I think it's cool when you guys come back and go, hey, I tried it. Sometimes it's like, hey, I made it and it turned out so good. My, my son loved it. I made that onion soup or I made French dips for him. See the color of it, you guys? Because I, you can put the onion afterwards. You don't have to worry about the onion getting too toasted. I just like cooking my onion all the whole time with it. But I do have to stay on my toes because the cast iron gets hot. The oil's hot. You gotta turn it down. No, I don't want to turn it down. You don't turn it down. When no, you but the, the, it gets too hot with the cast iron. Um, you yeah. got to regulate the heat a little bit better. When someone does that. Yeah, you can do that. See how it's getting browner, guys? And then what I add next is my garlic because I'm already getting ready. I before I put my before I put my liquid in, and this is just me because my mom doesn't do it like this. I put my tomato in there with um, so that my tomato gets toasted. So I start adding my garlic, my onion, and this is all with no. Leave it alone, bro. It's been too dark. Let me cook and you stand there and look good. I'm the helper. <laughs> okay, pour some uh, tomato juice or tomato sauce. Tomato sauce? Yeah, hurry because it's right getting away, too right hot. Right away, right away. Whoop. How much? Yeah, okay. Yeah. I toast it like this because I want the tomato to have a toasted flavor. Get the broth ready. Broth is ready. Ready? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's going to have a different color orange or, than just a regular. Okay, throw it in. Water, broth, chicken broth, any kind of broth you do is going to work out fine. You need, I need more tomato. Okay. I mean more of that. More yeah. broth? Yep. How much you think? Keep going. You can keep going. Why, how do you know when there you're you going to have... Okay, guys, so enough? once it has enough tomato on it, see, those are my, these are my little onion pieces in there, but it's okay because there's hardly any. I'm, it, it's got to have enough to cover it. See, like, I can press down and see it, so you want to at least go a half an inch above, above where your level of your rice is. Right. And then I am going to grab, oh, no, none of our uh, lids are big enough for Yeah, me. well, that's Right up front. Like this? Yep. No. What one? That little one right there. But I need a seal completely. Uh, let me you can't have that little bitty seal. The slip. Or I can use this, like. Here, how about this? No. Aye. I'll do that. Two of the same size. One's for one pan and one's for the other pan. All right, let me answer some questions, y'all. Put it on. Um, I put it on medium. But my pan's super hot right now. So I'll want to check it because if my pan, ooh, my pan is super, super hot. So if the, the heat of the pan is, um, if the heat of the pan is enough to make the water evaporate quicker, I'll want to check on it. So if I was using a regular pan, like the cast iron just is hot. So even though it's, the fire is low, the pan is still at the medium heat. And the heat underneath it just keeps it almost at that medium heat. Yeah, that, that, those cast iron pans, mm -hmm. once they get hot, they stay hot. Yep, yep. You can open the window if you want. 
That's just smoke. You're gonna get smoke. Um, okay, let me read your questions. <laughs> I burned the rice on purpose because that's how the family has always done it. The black pieces of rice, not all the. You know what? I do. My mom loves toasted. She and I love like undercooked. When I get my little Caesar's bread, I get it undercooked. Um. Yes, basamati rice. Stephen, my babe. My brother's in here, you guys. Hi, Mijo. My brother came in. Yeah, Steve, you're doing your little face. My brother's also an executive chef. My brother's an executive chef. My my son is trained chef. He's gone to school. My son, my brother started cooking at 15 and he's like 35 or 40. So he's been cooking for the last 25 years and now he's an executive chef, so. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't I don't by any means know their level of cooking. My brother and my son are like a, 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 a um they use they use based on their knowledge of what things go with what, like making soup bases and making dressings and making different flavors. My brother and my son have that down. Me and Joe, we just like cooking. We like going out to eat. We like to try to figure out what they made, how they made that, how I want. I want. I don't want to buy it. I want to figure out how they made it. So I want to taste it. And then because we we eat a lot of restaurants, I mean, we really, 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 um, uh, I need some more liquid. See how it gets because of it? Mm. In fact, you get a cookie sheet instead, but I'm using it for my Ross. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, there's another little one in there. The other way. Uh, <laughs> um, so we didn't. We are more like we've done. We have traveled a lot. We've eaten a lot, a lot, a lot of food. So our mentality is like, I don't want to pay for the food. I want to learn how to make it myself. So we go to different restaurants. Hi, Chasey. Hey, Chase. Chase, did you hear our stories last night? We talked oh. about you rolling out of the car. We have a story. Spooky no, we don't. Yes, we do. No, we don't. Uncle yes, Joe's being do. not nice. But anyways, oh Marissa, uh, Chase, we talked about how, well, I won't even bring up the whole subject, but we talked about Grandma at Golden Corral, and then we talked about what would happen to Chase when Chase rolled out of the car at church. Um, we just had a night of disclosing everything last night. So anyways, I said all that other stuff to say, Whenever we have an idea, and I'll ask my brother, I'll be like, um, <laughs> it wasn't v, v Netty, it wasn't that bad. My, okay, we are leaders at our church. I mean, we are leaders at our church, and we got there early, so the parking lot was almost empty, so it wasn't like there was a bunch of cars driving around. Thank there God. was there Yeah, so I let Destiny off, and I said, hey, go ahead and go in there. I'll be in there in a minute. And I looked over at this back seat, and I saw her open the door and hop out, and then... Apparently, we had um, like a little Malibu. It was a brand new, like a, a little more like a sportier car. So my daughter hopped out and I heard the door shut. So I stepped on the gas and pulled forward. Well, it just so happened at that exact moment, my five-year-old nephew was, no, he was gonna get out also, but I didn't know. So he opened the door and he was like, bloop, 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 out into the, the dead parking lot. There was no cars, but he rolled out there. I didn't even know it. I parked the car and I started going inside and our, it was just a really funny church when we all got along really good. And our pastor's daughter came up to us and goes, did you know Chase fell out of the car? And I was like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't tell his mom. No, I didn't. I was like, really? What? What are you talking about? She goes, just now when you let Destiny off at the door, he got out on the passenger on the driver's side in the back seat and you you drove off and, and he rolled out and i was like i was like oh my god if my brother was here i would have died and if his mom was here i would have died sometimes we would pick them up and meet us they would meet us at church and so <laughs> so it was horrible i was we got a little john wick we, what does that mean john wick yeah little john wick you ever seen the John Wick movie? I try not to. It was awful, you guys. Okay, send me an email. Please, Haley. 
You guys, anybody can send me an email. It's in the back. Um, basmati rice. Basmati rice. Um, let's see. V90, there you go. Black piece. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Mimo. Hey, brother. Also executive chef. Oh, Commander, you go. Yeah. Oh, my God, V90. I cried. I felt so bad. <laughs> oh, no. It was the tuck and roll. <laughs> That was exactly what it was. Oh, yes, you're right. Thank God it turned out all right. I mean, all we know is that the Lord was watching over him, and I would have felt, I would have felt horrible. I would have felt horrible. I would have felt horrible if it just got hurt, let alone if something serious happened. But it was just like, we have, oh, my niece was climbing up in the tree when we were like at the house, and we're all in the living room, and like she was a tomboy. And she climbed like three quarters of the way up and my dad went out there. My dad was just a good dad and God rest his soul. He was a good, good dad. But he let a lot of his grandkids kind of like, not get away, but he would say get down. But he didn't like make sure she got down. Like they're having fun kind of mentality. I think you should, uh... oh, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, so then um, my niece started, kept climbing and all of a sudden we're in the kitchen and living room. I swear I'm not lying to you. We heard, it was indoor and the windows were open. They were like the kind that you crank like this. And so they were open like that. And all of a sudden you hear, Whoop! and we're like, what was that? We're like, what was that sound? And we go, we look out the window and my, <laughs> it's not funny. Again, this is not funny, but there's like, you know, you guys, we, we all have these stories growing up. All of a sudden, we look out there, and my niece, who was like 10 or 12, she was climbing up. She's like laying there. She's like, there you go. she's like laying on the yard, and she's like, owie. And we're like, oh. you know, we were running out there, and we got Brandy, and it was it was traumatic. Obviously, we were all panicked and everything. But um, those those are, my brother passed away when he was 20. My niece was six months old. My other niece was two years old. And then he had one more that he was just about to be 21. So then his other daughter, she, the, the mom was pregnant like four or five months along. So anyways, they were a part of our lives. Very, very active part of our lives. And I mean, like, obviously we treasured them because they're my brother's little girls. But anyways, she was a little spunky girl and we loved her pieces. Right, mom? Okay, guys. Sorry, 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 sorry. Hey, Trish. How's the rice? Don't worry about it. Just kidding. We gotta worry about it. We're not supposed to touch it. Remember, guys? If you want to look at it, that's fine. You should really get a clear glass lid so you can let see him, when you need water. What's going on with it here? Let me. Uh... That's what it's doing. That's what it's doing. It still has water. You can't touch it. Can't if I stick it. something in there, it's over. I mean, the Mexican grandmas and abuelitas, you abuelitos, and the. Uh, Everybody will just not own me because you don't touch the rice once it's got the cover. I mean, I only know that because my mom would do the... No, she did. <laughs> she would. She's like, don't touch it. Don't touch it. So we don't even know why we don't touch it. We just don't touch it. It gets mushy, I think they say. They say the old wife's tale says it turns into mashed potatoes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We just don't touch it. Um, what was I telling them? Uh, your niece. Oh, niece. oh yeah, she lived. She's on here. She gets on every once in a while. Her name is Brandy. She's a she we have lived. a boot. She lived. She walks. She did nothing happen to her. Um, no, you were gonna tell him something. Uh, oh, you should get the video and let him hear the weird. No, why? <laughs> okay, oh, so we're trying to it's figure so out weird. what our next series is gonna be. Um, if we want, like we did sides right now what the next one because i know a couple of people have asked if we could do um grilling out ideas or drilling out recipes that's this guy um joe does the, like the marinades the rubs would you guys like that or would you guys rather do like like we do a macaroni and cheese that's on the grill um well i do a homemade macaroni and cheese and we do this so i've never done it on the grill we usually cook it in here but i mean why not cook it on the grill and then we have a smoke flavor um, we thought about doing, what does that say? We were going to call it, oh, because our plates are always blue. This is going to be an old one for the people. 
blue bait special. You got a blue bait. What's on there, baby? Like we just had the eggs on. Oh there. yeah, yeah. So we want to do like a blue plate special, like so that it's like economical meals that aren't like, hi, poo poo. He rolled out and he lives. <laughs> he lives. There he is. There's proof that he rolled out of the car. <laughs> hi, poo poo. Um, zucchini bread. Should we do like breads, like zucchini bread, coffee cake, like loaves, banana bread, zucchini. Um, coffee cake. I know you like mine. I make a sour cream coffee cake. I do blueberry muffins. We lived in Michigan where we had a lot of blueberries. So I did a lot of baking at our, um, we had an Airbnb, you guys, believe it or not. We had an Airbnb, but we made quiches. Um, we made quiches for them, French toast, um, frittatas. Um, what else did we make, baby? I made coffee cakes. I made um, the overnight oats. Um, we had breakfast. It was like a full bed and breakfast. And we only did it on the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And it was just him and I. So our daughter was at in college. Our son moved out. We didn't have our kids living with us. Just, uh, we just felt safer with it just being us. We had, we had like a 70, 72 inch TV. What, what was it? 72 inch TV? 75. The 75 inch TV in the basement. Um, like that was where they were. It's like their quarters. It was a living room and it had like, a candy machine and a, a popcorn machine and then we had like snacks and stuff for the people that they would for them so they didn't have to come they didn't what we would do is what we would want to do when we went out to hotels we'd want snacks and all that stuff so that's why we put like skittles and m&ms in the vending machine they didn't have to pay for it it was just like a knob you twisted and then a popcorn machine and then we had like like just stuff that they had in baggies, like Doritos, little miniature bags that they didn't have to go to the store and get snackies. They had them. Um, so we can do stuff like like uh, French toast casserole. Um, oh, we want to make chicken tinga. Well, do you guys want us to do another theme? We just did sides because we figured it was coming to the hot, uh, summer and you guys grill out and stuff like that. What do you think, babe? Yeah. You Yeah, what? Yeah, uh, I think we should grill stuff. Ooh, zucchini bread is the bomb, and the local farmer's market sells it for $12. Commander, we are going to get you a recipe, and you're going to learn how to make it so you don't pay a penny. I think you should bake stuff, and I should grill stuff. Oh, Burke, how do you make your rice? Oh, have you ever had Mexican rice? Or you mean just rice in general? Ooh, Trish Dish says, let's do breads. Oh, Joe, this is you. What's me? How do you cast, season your cast iron? Because Joe does it whenever he's the, he's my cast iron seasoner. Well. You want to practice on that? Yeah. What I did, uh, let me get the big one. Uh, what you want to do is you want to, ooh, ooh, ooh. Let me, uh, let me get a little water in there if I just washed not it water. just washed it but uh, you're not supposed to let standing water in there but uh, today's cast iron that you get um, it's a little rougher than the than the real old stuff but uh, I took sandpaper and uh, you, you can use like 60 grit with a with an orbital sander and you can uh, sand around here, sand this, and you because it's really rough when you buy them. And what happens is when you when you uh, season them, it fills up with that oil. And you cook that oil in there, and it builds up, and builds up. But you have you know you got peaks and valleys in there that are pretty pretty steep, and it takes a long time to season them to where they're not going to stick if you don't try to knock them the little peaks off and have just mostly valleys. So I just took a hundred grit sandpaper and sanded. The bottom, the edges, and then, or the, the corner, and then the edge up here. And then uh, after I did that, uh, rinsed, uh, washed it with soap and water the very first time. And you don't use soap ever again unless you do something to them where you have to, uh, like, um, start over and season it for the first time again. All right? So once you've washed it out, you've sanded the bottom, wash it out. You don't want it super shiny, like like glass. Uh, it kind of it, it doesn't work perfectly that way when it's just 
you know, flat and glass. You, um, you need them little pockets in there to uh, get the, the oil to build up in there. Or the oil won't build up in your pan. All right. So after you wash it, you sand it, then you wash it with soap and water. And then you want to get uh, to, to, to clean it again after you season it. I'm going to tell you how to do that. But you just take like uh, what we got are these here. Okay. And then it's just hot water and then you scrub them out. Okay. Just hot water and scrub them. And then after you're... All right, so the first what you do is you, uh, so now you're going to season it. So sand it, wash it with soap and water, and then what you want to do is you want to put just a, just a little bit of oil in here, okay? And I'll, I'll, uh, I'll demonstrate this with a little bit of oil. You don't need a lot, okay? A little bit, and then you take, and you move it around in there, okay? like this all around the sides make sure you get the corners top and then you do the whole you do the whole kit and caboodle everything because everything will rust if you get gets water on there and then sits in there but you just do everything and then when you're done doing that you do this you get all that out of there as much as you can you don't want it pooled in there uh, or else you'll just have like slick uh, slick uh gum you know it'll be a slick and gummy in there so you just basically take it. you're not taking it all out even though you think you are just take it out and uh wipe everything down okay so it's not uh all uh, greasy in there and, and runny or, or cakey so that's what you get a little shiny right and then you have you preheat your oven for your first time when you're when you're doing this, you preheat your oven to like, you know, as hot as it can go, 500, 550 degrees. You know, get it, get it up here. My wife's short, but uh, um, you get up to about five, 550. Get it up to temperature, and then put it in upside down into onto a rack, and for about 45 minutes, let it sit in there at 500 degrees. Then you take it out. And then you let it cool down naturally. You don't want to, uh, you know, hey, you don't want to uh, shock it with cold, any coldness from the from the high heat. And then you just let it sit and let it get room temperature again or, you know, warm enough so you can handle it again. And then you do the same thing over again. A little bit of oil all around on everything. And you do that like five times. Okay, it takes a little while. And then after you've done all that, you've you've seasoned your pan. Okay, you do it five times. And then after you use it, every time after you use this pan, you take this hot water, let it cool down, of course, and then hot water. And this is how you clean it. No soap. You don't want to use soap again because it'll, it'll take your seasoning out. So then after you wash it and rinse it out, then dry it off and then put it on your stove. What was it, say? Oh, hey. oh, sorry guys. What's going on? Sorry. All right. <laughs> so anyways, you, after you use it, after you've initially got it all seasoned up, after you use it, you put it on the stove, crank it up, medium heat, medium to high heat. All right. Sorry. I don't have to, I don't have to do anything. It's okay, I'm turning it off. Right, That's right. what I was trying to get off the stove. Right. Oh, cool. Um, you put it on medium high heat, and then you do the same thing with the oil. Put a little bit of oil in there, wash it around in there, and then do the. You don't have. I don't usually do the whole pan when I'm after I'm done using it, but I'll just do the inside, and then you wipe it out again. Take it all out of there, and then heat it up until it uh, just starts to maybe smoke a little tiny bit, and then shut it off and let it cool by itself. And then put it away. And don't stack them on top of each other. Don't, uh, when you're done with it, don't stack all your, your pans on top of each other uh, in the in your cupboard because they tend to, uh, you know, moisture, any kind of moisture gets in there and then where they're hitting, where they're touching, will rust a little bit. So then you'll have to, you know, do the whole thing over again. But uh, that's basically how you do it. 
Put it in the oven five times at 550. Each time, 45 minutes. Take it out, let it cool down naturally. Do it again, a little bit of oil. Put it on there, take it off there. Put it back in for, at 550 for another 45 minutes. And you do that five times. And then every time you're done using it, you just don't use soap and water. Just use water, hot water and, and a scrub pad. No, no soap. And then put it back on the stove, a little bit of oil, heat it up, just on the inside. And uh, let it get to a smoking point, and then shut it off and let it cool down. And then you're, you're seasoned up for the next time. So that's it. That's all you do. <laughs> it's a lot, but, but uh, you don't do it all but at once more, except it, for the it, five it, times it in the initial time. It. It preserves it. You're yeah, you, yeah. You got you got to maintain these things. You have to maintain them, or else they will they will not be nonstick. You you need to do those things, or else you know you're just shooting yourself in the foot, getting a cast iron pan because they're you, you have to help them out to be nonstick because they say they're pre seasoned. They may do it one time, you know, at the factory, heat it up, oil it, heat it up, and out they go. But plus they're they're rough, and the rougher they are. The longer it's going to take to get them to a really good nonstick place. So a lot of people will take and sand the inside of them just to take off the, the little, you know, the peaks so they're flatter. You know, you got valleys in there, but it'll be, you'll have a lot of flat surface on the top. Almost to where it's, uh, you'll, you'll just see a, a shininess with a lot of pits in it. You know what I mean? But, uh, but you know you can do that or you don't do that but it'll it'll get nonstick faster if you sand the bottom of it to you know and take off the little the little sharp points that are sticking up i was rough. able to make an egg and flip it and it didn't stick at all in the pan yeah. but you have to maintain them you have to. i don't know how to do it he does it but because of what he does i can do that <laughs> yeah exactly so anyways uh, one of my friends uh ended up giving them to us we've wanted uh cast iron pants our whole life I mean, that sounds crazy, but we really did. This is another thing we wanted. Um, I wanted this forever. And probably at least two years when they started making them. And then Tragic, uh, from our wish list, Tragic gave it to us. So ecstatic. And then um, one of my other friends gave me the cast iron pans. And then I was like, I want to use it for everything. I think the week we got it, we used it for whatever meal I made. Two or three times a day, I used my pan. And it wasn't quite nonstick right away. No, he really had to do what he, but yeah. he actually looked it up. There's like, Joe's the kind of person that he's going to look up information and give you well thought out, investigated, three or four different people say it's this way. Um, two or three people said it this way. Let me see. Let me look into which one of these two is actually the way. That's Joe. Ivan is like from mi corazón. What I feel is like I view. <laughs> okay. So you guys don't forget to hit the likes. It's more please. like this. It's more like how do you? Well, huh? Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Cause he's like, and I just now had it stacked, and I didn't realize you weren't supposed to have it stacked. I mean, he gives me like a nine hundred rules. It's like. I'm the mom that doesn't have, not that I didn't have rules for my kids, but who wants rules? I mean, like, yeah, I'm more of like, um, I enjoy the moment. Enjoy the moment. Ready? So now he's got to cook it. See so, y'all? He's going to cook it now. So now I got some heat underneath it. I put oil in it. I've, I've done everything I need to do. Just, I've done all I can. And now I'm just going <laughs> to heat it up and let that... Uh, I'm maintaining it right now by putting a little oil in there, taking the oil back out. And if he didn't do that, then all the other stuff was pointless. Yeah, yeah then it's just got raw oil in there, just sitting in there. We want to bake it into that and keep building them layers of uh, baked in uh, oil. Put it on the of mine if you want. Yeah. Ooh, it's hot. Oh, yeah. Here you go, right here. Oh, yeah. What do you need? It's heavy for you. It's good. All right. Yep. Oops, just too low. Here. Too high. Yep. Nope. Right there. Oops. Sorry, guys. They can't see. There it. you go. Yeah, they can. <laughs> We're gonna put it on a plate too for you guys to try it. Oh, I see. So there's. I'm gonna grab um. Oh shoot! Our blue plate. Our blue plate special. Right. Hold on, y'all. Here's the clean one. We only got two of these blue plates. Yeah. Well, there's only two of us. <laughs> I know. Um. Well, we have these big ones yeah we, got the we made ones. like our food on them before 
but they're those like are our special blue plate. Yeah, these are. <laughs> those are our blue plate specials. These are our blue plate specials. This is the one that I was telling you that are. I love John Wayne. He's the most greatest neighbor ever. I love John Wayne, but I gave him some desserts during Christmas time on this, and we just got this plate back this past two weeks ago. But you love him so much because he's such a great, great, great guy. Literally would never tell him anything, ask him for it, or nothing because he's just that great of a guy. So, so yeah, anyways. Your rice just soaked all that water up, right? I'm going to show him. That half inch that was above it? Yeah, half inch. Let me show you. Oh, sorry. Hello. Yeah. So if you, don't, if you don't want it this color, put your tomato sauce in after your water. Mine's almost like a burnt orange-ish. I mean, it's some people make well, it real what? bright orange. Oh, it'll be and that's, bright orange? Yeah, if you use that one, orange. if you use that Sasson packet and you drop it in there, I use tomato sauce. Some people literally use tomato, they boil it on, on the stove, and then they put it with garlic and um, they boil it. Oh, and if I had cilantro, I would have put that on top too when it starts steaming. But... Some people do it like make their tomato tomato sauce from tomatoes boiled or fried or whatever in a ninja with onion and garlic and then they pour that in. I use a can of tomato sauce. That's the way I was taught. I know some people use sasson. I don't even know how to do and that. It's great uh, when you when you put that in there. I and try you to toast have it yeah. When you toast I it. like it to the. It's a different flavor. It doesn't taste like the rice that you get at the Mexican restaurant. It tastes. Uh, I think it tastes a little bit more authentic. It, yeah, it, the, the, the flavors yeah. definitely uh, mesh together. They, uh, they, they blend together a lot better than putting the tomato sauce on the end. It tastes tomato -y. It tastes like tomato -y rice to me if you get it at the restaurant, yeah. which they usually always are. Yeah, it tastes just tomato, -y. tomato -y rice. If you and guys want to start, it cooks in and it's great. Put, and, and it's supposed to be More a one to two race. If it's supposed to be a one to two ratio, you're supposed to put one, two, one. One. <laughs> <laughs> one cup rice to two cups water yeah. that's how rice is supposed to be made if you're making white rice this is um i guess you can do that i've never done it like one to two ratio i just toasted it, it i toast it put my tomato sauce okay let's just do it now with that because it's going to be confusing for you guys i toast my meat my my rice then i put my onion so it's toasting in there the oil rice and onions do 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 then I add my water or chicken broth, chicken bouillon, whatever you want to add to make the liquid. Like you can get a cup of hot water and get chicken bouillon and mix it up or a can of or a container of chicken broth. It's all the same. Chicken broth, chicken bouillon. It's all the same thing. Okay. Chicken bouillon just needs water to turn it into broth. <laughs> or you can boil a chicken. I literally always, if we have chicken for any reason, I'll boil the chicken. Even if I order a rotisserie or buy a rotisserie. I'll take whatever I'm going to take off of it because I'll make my flautas. We should make flautas with you. Those are super, we might have done it. The flautas, we eat the stuff off the flautas. I put a pan of water. I throw my whole chicken carcass in there. I'm smoking. I throw a carcass in there. I throw uh, onion and I throw gar uh, garlic, onion, my carrot, the ends of the carrots, the ends of the um, celery, any parts of your celery and carrots that are like, oh, they're, whatever you you can use them throw them into your broth because you're gonna drain all that out so then let it boil on simmer for like or not not boil like simmer it for about two hours turn the fire off take your carcass out and yeah you're gonna have pieces sorry smoky a little bit a little bit smoky just a little Hold on. but there it's, you go. it's cooked in there now it's not as shiny as it was anymore it cooked, but it's it pretty it in there but now we've maintained it and ready for the next uh usage and it makes it that much more nonstick. Um, so then your chicken, don't touch that. your chicken broth, and what? We'll, yeah, That's we usually we usually put that, or we put this this thing on it on the end, so that way, no matter what, we don't just grab it because it's 150 million degrees. <laughs> um, but take the carcass out. You can either use a strainer or a cheesecloth or whatever, but you take out the celery, the onion, the garlic, whatever you dropped in there, so that it's just a clear broth. That's it. It's it's just free. It's free. You paid $6 for your chicken. Take everything you can off of it. 
Um, if chicken falls off of it, shoot, I drain that chicken out and what, what can I use that chicken for? That's me. You guys don't have to do that. I'm a very, 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 very frugally tight person. Okay. Oh, mom does that. I know. I don't use that, mom. My mom uses the sasson with tomato, so then she doesn't have to use the tomato sauce. So that's a lot of people do that. I don't do that. That's just me. Let's eat this, Joe, so we can eat it hot. All right. You got a fork for me. Come on, daddy, right here. Ay, no yeah. bueno. <laughs> but, hey, if my mom is saying to use that sasson, she's an elderly Mexican lady. She gives the okay. Here, you push on mine, I'll push on yours. There you go. Hey. Uh, hey. That's your rice. All I need That's now good, is... That's good, man. You guys, you know what I was going to make you? That's not tomato wheat at, at all. all. No, it's, it's not. It's so good. I was going to make arroz con pollo with you guys. Like chicken with rice. So good. Mm. You need to boil your chicken. Let's say you boiled your chicken. You had a chicken breast, you boiled it on the stove, there's your broth. You have chicken legs and thighs. You fried it on the stove with oil. Throw it in your rice. It's called arroz con pollo. It's actually a dish. Hey, arroz con pollo. Ask us. Richard took notes. So, mom's. Mom, did you, Richard take notes on the on the poached egg? Poached eggs, baby. Anyways, um, you guys, uh, arroz con pollo. That's what I was gonna show you guys. But I was doing sides, so then I had to take that version, and I didn't have chicken anyways. I didn't want to send Joe to go get it. And I was like, hey, wait a minute. We're on sides still. Is so. Is that mine? Uh, no, bro. No? <laughs> it's solid. This is you. But you can pour more in there. Um, what? This is concentrate that I boil, like big tea in a pan or stove. This is concentrate. I'll drink it. Just this like is that. Joe's water he just drinks watered this but he rather drink it concentrate like straight from the pan which i don't know if anybody does that maybe let me just make it stronger you just want to just make it stronger just go ahead there you go i drink my sweet tea so my tea always we have to make sure because it actually makes joe crazy to take a drink oh, of the I sweet just, tea i can't swallow it um so, so anyways the arroz con pollo Fry it any way you were gonna do it. You can boil it on the stove. Boil it till sure. it's shreddable, um, like a good hour, so that way the chicken breast or leg, thighs, whatever, take the nerves out of it, take whatever you wanna take out of it. Then when you have that water in there, throw your chicken in there. Throw chunks of your chicken in there. Put the top back on it. That's it. That's that's arroz con pollo. Chicken flavor, I already in there. Yeah. Um, so anyways, um the you can do it as fried chicken or boiled chicken boiled chicken you shred it fried chicken you can do it like fried on the stove um mom stop texting me <laughs> she keeps texting me while i'm talking to everybody it's tomato with the Maybe chicken she, flavor I'm trying to get a hold of you. Down here. she's just telling me stuff to remind me to oh, uh, to okay. say okay guys i think that's it if you guys have questions the rice literally oil your rice, just the long grain rice. This is all I had left, so I used this one, but this is not, but it's a, a yeah, it's my jasmine because we were making Asian food the other day, but I like to use long grain. Whatever you do, don't use small or medium grain because you're going to have mush. I'm telling you, those are little Mexican secrets. Use long grain rice. Legit. Joe, oh my God. <laughs> You guys, he gets on to YouTube and then watches some of my, because he doesn't sign in on his name. So then the ones, like my, my stream, Joe sees some of uh, you guys. I see some of the craziness out there. Stop, Joe, that's rude. What? I don't think that's, I, I think everybody's it for each their own. That's all I think. I think everybody's different, and I think everybody's allowed to be different. And I like... <laughs> Anyways, you guys, thank you guys for being here. Um, we're going to probably do, what did you think, babe? Sides? Uh, we did sides. So somebody wanted breads. Bread, we yeah. did do sweets because somebody wanted us to do apple dumplings the other day. Well, I want to do my apple pie. I know. So if we but do. It's not the season for it, really, but, you know. Yeah. Peach cobbler. I've done that so, a million and one times. Um, monkey bread. You guys, did you see my picture of my monkey bread? Do some monkey bread. 
I did that. I can make the monkey bread into muffin tins. I think I want to do a week next week. I'll do You're gonna want that easy, people. easy, um, like quick recipes. Well, do some baking though. Do do your coffee. Cake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll coffee keep you. I'll, I'll post it. I'll post it up on there. Maybe I'll do a, a poll or whatever. But, but thank her, you guys for being here. Coffee cake is phenomenal. You will want that recipe. It's all right. Very, very it's good. good. It's, it's but I make a sour cream so coffee cake. Mm. It's really, really, really good. Yeah. Good night, <laughs> mom. Good night. Oh, <laughs> mom. <laughs> so you guys, another thing you can use instead of it's called nor tomato de pollo or pollo de tomato. I said it right. Tomato de pollo. It's like tomato and chicken. And then you add that to your water in your pan. It's and like that's, a bouillon, right? Yep, it's, it's a, a bouillon. bouillon. It's got tomato powder in it or something. Yep. Right? Yep, it's got a hint of red, so you don't have to add some tomato sauce. I mean, a lot of people like it because then you don't have to worry about it. Do I have a can of tomato sauce? Right. Okay, love you guys. The way she oh, wait, was there any questions? The best. Best. I told best it. My grandma and my mom's the one who told me that. She goes, Yvonne, what made you make it like that? And I was like, I don't know, I like it like this. And she's like, Your grandma used to make it like that. This is the way to do it. Mi Just the way she it. showed you is the best Mexican rice Joe, I've ever shut tasted. Up. And given any restaurant, um, any relative or anything like that. Um, you guys, thank you so I much. Swear. Joe can make different tacos, taco meats. That'd mm. be kind of a cool idea. Okay, guys, we love you guys. Thank you. Thank you for everything. We gotta do some more uh, pulled pork and put it on. You know, do our do our hot dogs. We had loaded potatoes today, guys. We mm, had a baked potato, and we had loaded with the leftover. Or we had the butter and pulled sour cream. Pork. And then we had pulled, pulled pork, pork and not, not with any barbecue sauce, just no, nope, just uh, like basically a smoke flavored pork, mm. and then a little bit so of good. Um, yeah, it brisket. was really good. Um, too. We are like the most frugal, economically smart. We're gonna use a bit of what we have before we go get more, and we're like, what can I do with this, like this, and stretch it like this? I actually was gonna put you guys. I was gonna get on live with you guys, and I don't know if you guys have heard of it. It's called. Um, huevos con papa like see i don't know if you guys want to learn how to do that stuff that's basically um potatoes you make fried potatoes and then you make eggs with it like all together then you or get tortilla taco, like yeah. a breakfast taco so you if you go into a mexican casa uh taco cabana or something those are one of the flavors papa con huevo chorizo what? con, con huevo. Yeah. Okay. i mean tell you what i can teach you guys how to make chorizo homemade chorizo yeah, homemade chorizo but i tell you what Scrambled eggs, okay? A lot of, my wife makes the best scrambled eggs. I know it sounds like scrambled eggs are scrambled eggs, but we it's tried the way Gordon Ramsay's. you cook them. It's the way you cook them. And hers are the textures better, the flavors better. It's just just, just a few things that she does the thing that, that I do different, and it's so great. As I put my eggs into the pan, I don't whip them in a bowl. Nope. And then crack them in the pan in a hot pan. And a crack, the pan's got to be hot. Put some the oil or butter, it doesn't matter. Salt on the bottom. And then you get your one egg, two egg in the pan like that. And there's little balls staring at you. Mm -hmm. You grab your spoon and you whip it up in the pan. As it's cooking. As it's cooking. Oh, that's, that's just how you do it. And they're that's just, the best way, man. They're, um, they're good. The, they're, the, they're, the, the I don't want to say they're juicy. They're completely either. different than whisking them in a bowl. We tried them the way Gordon Ramsay did because Joe's. Yeah. When the, I say that Joe does research, Joe's like, I want to make the best of this or the uh, yeah, best of yeah. that. So he was like, I want to try it like this. So then he did it like that, and I made mine, and we're like blind taste testing. You guys, that's when you're retired. It wasn't too complicated, you, so I, I I did it as. Close when you're retired, you do stuff like that. You're like, oh, well, let's have a little taste off and let's see the difference. And he goes, okay, I like that one. Is that is that Gordon Ramsay's? And I was like, no, that's mine. He's like, that one is by yeah, far that's better. The best, man. So, anyways, so good. So stop much tooting better. our horn. We sound ridiculous. <laughs> we're, we're the greatest. <laughs> no, we're really not, you guys. <laughs> we love you guys. Thank you so much. Um, the Cash App is on there. The Venmo is on there, you guys. We'd appreciate any bit you guys are blessed, able to bless us with. If you're not able to, thank you for giving us the views. Absolutely. Hit the like on the way out, and that's more than Hit enough like. for us. Hit the like. Yeah, that, that's... Subscribe. <laughs> Bye, guys. Have a good night. I think we're going to see you guys tomorrow. I'm not sure. What's tomorrow? It's still, still nice and hot. Takes a while when, you're, when you do that to your pans. When Just be careful. If you have any little kids, put it on the furthest yeah. burner back. 
because that it thing stays will hot scorch. For a long time. That thing will scorch the skin right off your hand or your uh, finger. Maintaining is the key mm -hmm. to having those non-stick. All right. And they will be. It yeah. It takes a little time. Have a blessed night, y'all. See y'all. Our little now. ones are coming in to let us know it's yeah. time for us to get off. Yeah. They're going. We can come in. Yeah. They're like, I don't hear nothing. Hi, guys. <laughs> what? You guys eating? Are you guys eating? Come on. Oops. There's Daddy. Where's the Where's the little one? Come on down. Come on, sissy. Sit. Sit, sit, sit. There she comes. Oh, she's baby. just got uh, legs from sleeping Oh, she all wants the... water, Daddy. All right, I'll get her some. Say hi, sissy, because you're the cutie. Hey, Nova. Nova. Hey. Say hi, sissy. Uh -oh. Nope. Nobody wants to say hi. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> Look at that. Uh. All right. Hey, baby, Novi. Can you guys do me a... Look at... Hey, sit. All right. Okay, sit. Hey. Good. Look over here. Jeez. Aren't they the cutest little doggies? No, don't touch that. You guys, this is my white rice. I have to make white rice the day before. To make the best fried rice, make white rice the day before. Put it on a cookie sheet and let the moisture air out. Uh, I, again, we searched this, and this is what they said to do because it takes the moisture out. So when you're cooking it on the stove, you have dried rice versus it being very moist and, right. I don't know. Sticky. Sticky. That's what they tell me to do. I do it all the time. So I make it today if I plan to make fried rice tomorrow or even Friday or whenever. I stick it in the fridge and it will stay cold. So thank you for hitting the likes. Um, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you for stopping in. And thank you for letting us be a bunch of wackos and listen to our dumb stories because we got some crazy ones. Um, if you guys, if you guys are able to share, that'd be great. Share us on your Facebook. Share us in your whatever. Share us. We're waiting for that big takeoff. <laughs> We're gonna have our Just Netflix series up. ready to go. I'm gonna be somebody. No, <laughs> you are somebody. <laughs> all right, bye guys. We love you, all of my family. I love you guys. I love you all. We used to say that when my daughter came back, we wanted to start just a live go like do the live streams and actually have people come up on panel and talk and then whether it be about marriage kids bills life um i don't know whatever whatever we don't know but we've a couple people we talked about it at one time i don't know we kind of really really like the cooking oh, okay. it'd be Sorry, weird for us again. not to cook so appreciate you guys coming in love you joe bye see you guys